Welcome to another episode of Data Strategy Unraveled. I'm your host, Kendra Reed, Principal Data Strategy Tech Specialist at AWS. In part one of Creating Business Value with Gen AI, we met with Kathy Kuntz, Principal Data Strategist at AWS, to understand more around what Gen AI is and how organizations can create value from it. Now, we're going to pick up the conversation in part two, where we start to understand more around what the core elements of a data foundation that are needed, as well as the mindset to utilize Gen AI. Can you describe some of the, the core elements of a data foundation that are needed when you were looking at using Gen AI? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it it really is, uh, you know, you've got to have access to the right set of services, right, that that meet your organization's needs now and in the future, right, which, which really requires a level of technical flexibility. Uh, we've seen that with Gen AI and anytime any sort of disruptive technology becomes available, it can really stress test an architecture because you need an architecture that allows you to access both existing services and those that might come. Um, you need solutions that integrate the data so that your organization can easily analyze it no matter where it lives, right? So it needs to be in a form that these, you know, comprehensive set of services can use and it needs to be uh, uh, known where it is and accessible to the services. And then finally, you know, you've got to have a really strong governance practice and strategy in place so you can enable self-service access and free your teams to move faster. If your, you know, data, uh, machine learning or AI governance processes uh, create a bottleneck uh, or, or have a lot of bureaucracy behind them, that's really going to slow down your innovation and, and prevent you from really unleashing the, the innovative power of um, generative AI at scale. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of similarities between what you're talking about here and what Kelly mentioned in our, one of our previous episodes uh, around you know, what, what a data strategy is. And so you know, in, in the episode, she talked a lot about you know, mindset you know, and, and how it's required to create value from data. Do we need a different one for, for Gen AI? or can we utilize the same mindset? It, it's really, it's the same mindset that Kelly described okay. to really create the sustainable, scalable value uh, from data. And that's exactly what you're doing with Gen AI, right? right. That product oriented thinking and customer first mindset is especially important for Gen AI, given its potential, you know, as well as its risk. And so, you know, Again, it's not about implementing a technology platform. We're gonna do Gen AI, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's about looking for ways to show value and using the right tool to create that value. Now, yes, Gen AI, uh, as we talked, you know, has a lot of applications. So oftentimes it can be the right tool, but you need to work backward from the customer problem that you're solving whether that customer is your external customer who is looking for guidance on an investment strategy, right? Or it's an internal customer, that maintenance engineer I was just talking about. You need to think about the problems and opportunities you have to create a delightful experience for them and then work backwards to the right solution that does that. 